Yes, Hello. sir. Hi. Hey, Hi. how are you? <laughs> Very well. How are you guys? Doing it's well, early in the man. morning there, right? Yeah, well, yeah, it's 8.30, not too early. Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's only a 12 and a half hour difference between us, so it's fine. It's... <laughs> uh, anyways, it's well, yeah. I want to thank you so much for talking to us. We are big admirers of your work. Uh, we think, and I, I think I speak for Rick, I th we think you're probably one of the best actors alive currently uh, at, at doing what you do. That, and that's in general. Not just to India. That's that's in general. We we oh, really appreciate we really thank appreciate you. your talent uh, and the the amount we started to explore you. Um, so I actually just wanted to start right off uh, at almost the beginning of your career with Satya, uh, which we, we right. just which we just got to watch. Um, how did yeah. you get involved with that at, at your early stage? Okay, uh, those were the days. I mean the I mean uh, the initial days. Uh, I mean, four or five years in the city, the going was very tough, you know, finding a role. Uh, in the time when uh, uh, Satya kind of films was, you could not even dream of making it. Right. You, know, you, you, you could think of making it, but you could not even, you know, that, that could not be a reality. Yeah, we needed somebody like, uh, say, you know, uh, Ram Gopal Verma, kind of a talent who was... Yeah. Uh, who was not who's not only you know immensely talented and visionary but also uh, a very confident and stubborn man you know so mm -hmm. whatever he wanted to do whatever he wanted to make he somehow found his way you know so he was he was stubbornly after making this film uh, somehow bandit queen of shekhar kapoor you know has given him loads of confidence Mm -hmm. uh, to make to make this film on M Mumbai, uh, you know, mafia world, which was very very powerful those days. Yeah, you know, in Mum now you don't see that kind of a you know world, that kind of underbelly uh, in Mumbai because of the, the the police and everyone, you know, they got after them and they completely wiped out the city, uh, wiped out the city of uh, of uh, those elements. But yes, um, uh, to answer your question, um, it just happened to me. You know, it it came as a surprise. I went to him for a for a very small role in the film that he was making, uh, a, a mainstream film with a very big with two very big stars of that time. And I was taken to him uh, by. Uh, by 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 a friend of mine who was uh, actually who who I knew from my first film Bandit Queen with Shekhar mm -hmm. Kapoor, so he took me there for that small role. And when he came to know about me, and that is that I'm talking about, you know, four years or five, four and a half years after him watching Bandit Queen, somehow he remembered my face, you know. Mm -hmm. Somehow he remembered. Uh, somehow my my presence, you know, left an impact on him. And he kept on looking for me for me for four and a half years. And somehow, you know, he could not find me in the city, you know. <laughs> huh. And here, 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 I was, you know, for a, for a small role in this <laughs> film. And then he started talking to me, asking me what all I have done. And when I mentioned Bandit Queen and the role, he kind of jumped up. He said, oh, man, I was looking for you all these years. Mm. I, want, I want to make this film on Mumbai uh, gang world. And uh, I, all, I think you were just the right person for that role. And that's how the journey started. You know, four, four, four and a half years, five years after I landed in this city, then, you know, Satya happened to me. So, yeah, I, it was it came as a, you know, <laughs> completely miracle you know, God sent. <laughs> that's that's fantastic. Did I hear you originally wanted to play Satya? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, he didn't have uh, a very. Uh, he, he had one line ready with him. Uh, he he wanted to make uh, a film on a uh, on a guy who was coming to this world to Mumbai. He's new to Mumbai. You don't know anything about this guy, and then he you know he starts getting into the underworld. That was the line that he had, you know, okay. and then uh, I knew Anurag Kashyap, I knew uh, uh, Saurabh Shukla, all of these guys. So, so he gave me this responsibility to, you know, to 
to expose him with the, with the with the new talents which mm-hmm. which were there in the city so that's how i took these guys to 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 ramo to ram gopal verma and you know he immediately clicked with them and uh, they started developing the script and now uh, you know the script that that you see it, it went through so many changes and then you know finally when he had the script in in uh, you know in in his mind or uh, it started happening on the paper he said they, they had this character biku you know uh, uh he started emerging very powerful uh, so one day he called me up and he said you know i think you should play that guy instead mm-hmm. of the title role because uh, for a title role i need a i, I need a guy who you know who's uh, whose presence is good and but for this one i need somebody who has who can deliver you know okay mm-hmm. mm. so uh, that's how that role happened to me though i felt bad that you know the title role is taken away from me but <laughs> i did <didn't, laughs> i didn't know the potential of it but when we started working on it uh, slowly slowly you know it start 6 months i got actually i had I, i was not working that much i didn't have that much of work but i had so many days in my hand to really you know uh, develop the character to really give a concept to it um to think about it as to what i wanted to make i was going through your reaction to the film you said one thing fantastic both of you that you know it was on it could be annoying and irritating okay it it could go um, uh, the performance could go that side any time okay yeah, easy yes any time it was go it 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 could go any time that side but i had a concept i had a back story of the character in my mind mm-hmm. and i didn't do, i didn't want to compromise on 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 the note of it so i took a risk i it was a it was a risk which was known to me mm-hmm. okay and uh, i went with it it was a it was a do and die situation for me i uh, and then I after so many years had you know of Satya and I, I was watching Wolf of the Wall Street <laughs> mm-hmm. okay and I said oh god i mean um, those days a uh, few of few of few of the naysayers you know some somehow they said that the pitch was uh, Manoj's pitch was little high but it worked beautifully with uh, you know yeah. with everyone who has watched the film but Wolf of the Wall Street everyone was going gaga about DiCaprio's pitch and note you know and i said man you know look at this <laughs> you know i have i have done it so so many years back <laughs> yes yes <laughs> yes uh, yeah it's a it's a it's a i you guys have pointed it out very correctly that you know that kind of a pitch can go wrong any oh. time it's a it's yeah. a it's a very dicey it's yeah. a very tricky 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 kind of a decision that i took if not handled by the right actor that that performance could have been like a uh, a uh, really really bad but obviously you handled right. it masterfully so go ahead rick yeah it, it it that was one of the questions i wanted to ask you about the creation of that character we referred to him in the review as the laughing gangster yeah and right. was that was that something you found in the back story or was that something scripted or did you just create that as you went no no the way, that was a you know that is something the back story that you know i worked on it you know so, so okay. when the film starts when the film starts he just kind of uh, uh, you know uh, he's gotten independent as a gangster you know mm-hmm. he's no more working with the with the, with the with the gangster who has a political ambition now okay mm-hmm. he was working under him so uh, he is on a high he he wants to he wants to have a he wants to have a control over the city and there is only one guy who was who is to work with him you know uh, earlier under this politician gangster um, uh, and that guy you know he wants to kill he uh, satya wants him to bump him up you mm-hmm. know he is not that much convinced in the beginning but he gets convinced by satya yeah mm-hmm. okay So he this guy when the film start this guy is on a high he's just got an independent as a as a as a you know as a gangster yeah and he he is uh, he's somebody who wants to you know uh, terrorize the city he wants to have a control over it and then he gets satya in his life and satya starts showing him the amb- ambition to and the ways to do it okay so uh, 
that is why i wanted to show that high of uh, of this character from the beginning mm. you know and that is why the laugh uh, yeah. so these kind of gangster you know these kind of gang- gangsters are very dangerous who are mm-hmm. you you know because they are uh, if they get unhappy with you you are in danger you know mm-hmm. and if they are really happy with you still you are in danger you yeah. know so is a, he's a, he's, a, he's a guy who is uh, uh, who who can trust you very easily but you know within a fraction of a second and you know it will take him to you know to to believe somebody else and bump you off right so you know so all of these elements could only come with his laughter and with his high pitch mm-hmm. okay okay so uh, and that i mean this is this is how much i remember uh, of the back story that uh, you know he can he could not say no to this gang to gangster under whom he was working earlier yeah. that is why when i when i go to his house when we try to bump bump off for this guy at the airport and we get this call that you know we have to cancel our program of of killing him and we are called to this uh, boss to his house and i go there the first thing what i did because of my back story uh, that i have worked on i went there and i touched his feet then the director came to me and asked me why did you touch his feet i said because you know uh, that's my back story that i was working under him mm. and, uh, and and he has kind of uh, my father used to work for him after my father is gone he's the guy who has taken care of me and my family so i am under a lot of uh, mm. obligation and so if you see the film he uh, the rangopal roma has taken the close up of me touching his feet mm-hmm. is the establishing establishing the status there and the back story okay yeah. so yeah i mean a lot of thought has gone into Dang. it uh, yes <laughs> that's why you're yeah, clearly such, such a fantastic actor because obviously you take the time out to really delve out into your characters and it's obvious watching you in anything in everything we've ever seen you in um yeah i i Was there a lot of improv on set? I did hear that the the mo- hold on. Uh for anybody who hasn't seen Satya, this is a spoiler, so go away for like 10 seconds. When yeah. you get shot in the head, were you the right. only two people that knew that you were getting shot? Did were the other people unaware that that uh, you were being shot? Okay, uh, there's an interesting, you know, story to it. So, uh, Anurag Kashyap, as you guys know him, you know, yeah. he is uh, he was at the he was uh, 23 24 that time yeah, i know yeah. and he was a, he was somebody quite revolutionary in his mind you know so he wanted this scene to be to happen the way it it was shot and everybody he, he kind of convinced everyone even rap uh, the director was convinced that you know uh, biku should go you know, like that yeah uh, so uh, and people should be shocked so so it was it was all planned but when we went mm-hmm. there to shoot when the when we were inside and and it would be were so we thought of uh, kind kind of uh, you know rehearse it mm-hmm. and that was all uh, it, that was not designed those dialogues were not there so we were mm. uh, the actors were actors were given this job of doing it in such a way so that everyone is convinced that he should die in this man okay god gotcha. mm. Okay, so there because there are uh, many people were in two minds uh, whether I should die, you know, with one bullet or I should die, you know, after yeah. a, a little bit of a struggle. Mm-hmm. So we've done the rehearsal and and that was that was uh, final, you know. So everybody everybody kind of bought bought the bought the performance, bought the silence, you know, bought the shock. So that's you know. So yeah, I mean. Uh, I'm getting so excited you know talking about it you know okay good yeah that's fantastic yeah. yeah 22 years man i mean yeah <laughs> well it shows it shows the the love you have for the craft and the love you have for cinema it shows in your performances cuz cuz we know enough about acting to know that you I, don't get performances like that Uh, simply happenstance it's it's a collaborative effort it's a lot of right. work that the actor does they know how to listen and different things now i i remember amitabh bachchan saying that 
things changed drastically for him after Anand, like before yeah. Anand and after. Is there a film and is this the film where there was a, a real change in the amount of work you got to do and the notoriety you had? Was it was it this? Was it gangs? What what was it? Okay, uh, see, uh, 21 years back, you know, the, the going was very tough. Uh, yeah. So we, we, the act, actors like me, we didn't have, we, we didn't stand a chance uh, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, in the films which were being made uh, in, in our industry. It was a, it was a, very, it was a commercial films, you know, full of song and dances. You know, there used to be a hero and there used to be a villain or there, there, was, there used to be romantic films. So we didn't have any, 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 you know, uh, I mean, the, the kind of roles that I was looking for. Um, yeah. They yeah. Were okay? <laughs> and I, did, I didn't want to be, you know, typecast as a villain. You know? So, so it was, a, it was, uh, Satya happened. Uh, it has given me immense popularity, immense. I mean, people used to stand in queue just to see how I look in person, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, whichever city I visited, whichever city uh, hosted me here, uh, the city used to be out just to see how Bhikkhu Mahathri looks in person, okay? Mm -hmm. So that was a kind of adulation because and for people, it was a very new experience. But but coming to getting work, I was only getting work for of villains, okay? Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to be typecast. I wanted to wait. Uh, so the the going was very tough after Satya, very, very tough. Uh, I mean, for many years, uh, if you see my filmography, um, uh, in, des in just to you know run the kitchen, I have done one or two films, but I had to wait uh, uh, mm. eight months, 10 months, some, sometime one and a half year, just, just for that one script to happen. And I was the only actor, you know, Irfan and KK Menon, all of these guys yeah. came much later after that. But uh, and then in industry was getting offended with my nose, and uh, <laughs> so, so they 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 didn't know what to do with me. I didn't know what to do with those offers. So yeah, it was uh, it the journey was not that easy. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, all I was doing was offending people, you know, by by saying no to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I mean, so when you're mm -hmm. uh, there is so much money. There's there are so many offers. You are saying no to. Everybody is you know having their own perception about this new actor who's saying no. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, so yeah. I mean uh, I would say that uh, post Satya for many years life was not that easy. The the waiting period used to be very 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 long, and I was a known guy, uh, living living in a rented flat, and but. Uh, you know the, the 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 wallet was very thin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I did hear um, it, that actually sounds a, a, a very similar to when we talked to uh, Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Uh, that w he said when he came on the scene, everybody just wanted to hand him a gun, and and those were the kind of roles that that he was given. Um, I did hear though that at the beginning, which is a very strange thing to me, that um, and we talked, we've talked to um, Abhishek uh, uh, from uh, the casting director uh, from uh, Patar Lok, uh, uh -huh. that the industries and the way they work, especially the way they used to work, is very different. Like they used to drop off scripts and money, like at your yeah. house, to try to get you to accept the role. Right. Like, I mean, uh, uh, the, the the there used to be, you know, I I still remember a few occasions. Occasions people came not with the, they, 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 there was no script culture, okay. Uh, so and I was asking for a script, and everybody used to look at me with some kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, thinking that you know this there is this mad guy. I mean, he's asking for a script <laughs> for what? I mean, there is Who's this, this actor. There, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why does he want a <laughs> script? <laughs> <laughs> so everybody used to, used to look at, I mean in the name of script sometimes I used to get one page just the synopsis of the film okay wow, wow. so, the, the, so, uh, so that was I'm talking about that time uh, and sometimes they used to come just to lure you you know with suitcase full of cash wow you know and 
the cash used to be heavy those days because the, the industry got org- organized only much later you know after satya uh, so saying no to that money uh, you know wow. for me who has never seen uh, that kind of money even half of it yeah. in my life okay uh, saying no to money saying no to offers films work uh, it was very hard it wow. was it was really really hard for me uh, somewhere um, i i decided that you know either i do things what i really want to do or you know just wait wait till you get it uh, there was thankfully i didn't have uh, those stars in my eyes i think that saved me yeah yeah, yeah it's it's clear it's clear from what you're saying and from your work that you are a lover of this art form and i understand that since you were a little boy correct you wanted to be an actor since you were a little boy yes i always yeah. wanted to be an actor <laughs> i was a lucky yeah, so, one <laughs> yeah how did that happen for you when you when you decided you're going to make that choice you went to to drama school oh i tried uh, yeah. national school of drama here which is very prestigious and i always maintain that it's one of the best in the world and they turned you down okay. right uh three consecutive years yeah i heard that uh, yeah. which is crazy uh, yeah so <laughs> and uh, and uh, but i you know thankfully I, i kept on doing theater outside and there was uh, uh, there is this legendary you know theater director called uh, mr barry john he 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 uh, he's, he's a uh, british origin indian okay uh, living in india since a long i uh, he contributed a lot to to indian theater so he somehow you know saw me in his workshop and he decided to train me he decided to you know uh, take me under his wing and then i used to just and he he was giving me books on 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 acting he was giving me roles in his plays then he used to take me to his workshops with the children with professional actors with college students so i was working 18 hours a day with him okay so and uh, uh, and he was paying me 1000 bucks uh, you know every, every month um, so yeah it was uh, it it was a it was he was kind of a blessing in disguise uh, mr barry john so every year i was going for national school of drama and i was getting rejected but i was not stopping to work outside uh, doing theater and then i uh, we formed our own group outside that group started doing very well so yeah i mean uh, theater time was very hectic very intense uh i didn't I, it reached a point where i didn't want to leave theater though it doesn't mm. it's not paying at all in in our country yeah so yeah. people sub you know but you know the the food was something which never occurred to us you know it somehow we got our food somehow we got some money to pay our rent but uh, the madness about the craft and theater was <laughs> to to intense yeah. you know sometimes yeah. i sometimes it scares me whenever i'm think about those days would would, would you ever uh, go back to theater i try um, i i still try to uh, to at least do a, a one man show uh, uh. Uh, i'm i'm trying i'm still trying um, i'm dying to get back to it uh, it's just that the 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 time is so good and in mm-hmm. for actors here in mumbai yeah uh, you know the ott platform has given such such a relief uh, yep. to each and one of us uh, and so much hope uh, that no that will will never be without content will never be without a great role so uh, i'm always getting offers always getting to read scripts very busy uh, doing that So yeah I'm mean, uh, not because I uh because of the money is because of the uh the great roles I I don't want to miss out on those yeah. uh, on those roles yeah so yes I'm I'm trying very hard to uh, at least do one play uh mm. I would love to yeah. see that that'd be fantastic oh, I would love to see you on stage that'd be fantastic I'd love to see you on stage when we when we watched this the 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 short film ouch yeah oh yes <laughs> oh that that for me I remember when we watched that I not only loved the premise and loved everything about that but it 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 made me want it felt like a two person play it made me want to see you on stage and just do like a two person or a one person right. play 
Right. Yeah. So. Did it feel that way when you were filming it? Did it have, I mean, was it, it seemed like you shot that in maybe one or two days. One day. One yeah. day. Yeah. Uh, one day in a you know in a hotel suite we kind of took it on a, uh, and then uh, from morning till evening we kind of wrapped it up and had a bottle of wine <laughs> beautiful <laughs> beautiful that's wonderful yeah. Man, yeah. on on the ott platforms since we saw family man we we loved family man it's a love fan, family man. fantastic series uh can't wait for season 2 and we'll ask you more about that here in a little bit um but how do you uh, we've talked to quite a few people from Patal Locked, from Sacred Games, to wherever, and, and we get this general consensus of obviously it's changing the industry for the better, in, in our opinion, uh, and giving actors who aren't quote unquote the star actors, the, but the, the really, really talented actors, the spotlight to shine in, in creating great content. So, do you feel right. that same way? And how do you, if you could only work on like, TV shows for the rest of your life or films? What would you choose? Ah, <laughs> uh, I would choose theater. You know? Oh, I would thanks. Theater, you know? <laughs> if, if, if theater could pay me, yeah, you know, yes. to, really, to really run my life uh, comfortably, yes. I will choose theater. It's mm. uh, uh, because theater, uh, in, uh, what happens in theater that not only is an actor's medium in yeah. in films. What I feel that it. The when I see my p performance, I feel grateful to so many departments to yeah. really make it. Okay. Yes. So uh, you don't feel the ownership of uh, of your performance. Okay. Correct. Yes. In theater, I feel that you know, I feel that whatever you have seen is done by me. Okay. Yep. You, if you got moved, if you got disturbed, if you felt happy, it was me. Okay. Cinema is a director's medium and yep, it's a technical yes. medium too, you know, so you you cannot have a sense of ownership uh, on the work that you do. So definitely I'll choose theater if it really, you know, it makes my life comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I, man after my own heart. The, I, <laughs> yeah. the act, it being the actor's medium versus director's medium as well as the, right. the, 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 the combination of obviously the immediate response and that living relationship yeah. with an audience. And then to be able to reinvestigate day after day these relationships yeah. and this it's it's inexhaustible for an actor now in that light if you could choose any play and it didn't interfere with other great roles you could just choose to do any play and play any character is there one that you're like i want to do that play i want to play that character can you select one? Oh well, yes macbeth anytime <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know the, the, i would, would love to, be, to see uh, that uh, yeah, Hamlet used to be my favorite uh, till the time I, I was I was of the age I could play. I was going to say until you hit the, yeah until you hit about forty, right? <laughs> yeah. But now, now you probably are thinking I have the mind to play Hamlet. I just yes. I'm not going to be believable. I'm not young enough. It's right. Yeah. So you know, so Hamlet is a is a very complex play, very very yeah. complex. I think. And so it's, it's a very difficult uh, role for any actor to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, so is Macbeth, or so is King Lear. I mean, uh, oh, yeah. uh, King I don't know. I mean, he's, he's the greatest ever playwright, uh, Shakespeare. You know, uh, with uh, whatever age that you are in, you always you always find something new uh, in Shakespeare. Always, you know, yes. the nuances are so many. Uh, you can play it in so many ways. Uh, that's why I I love Shakespeare. Mm. Did you did you? This is just an off-topic thing because we've seen all of Vishar Bhardwaj's Shakespeare trilogies. Did were, did you try to get involved yeah. at those at any time? And uh, Vishal and me are friends. I mean, from yeah. we know each other since our daily days. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, it, I did never interfered with his with his casting. Yeah. Uh, be, also, also because I have known him, I didn't want to. But yes, uh, we we were we were supposed to work in his debut film as a director, uh -huh. mm. but just ten days before the shoot, uh, you know, the film got shelved mm. uh, for a, for for some reason. But after that, you know, uh, we kept we. Uh, I was uh, he actually wanted to play uh, um, a Heather's Heather's uncle in uh, in Heather but I was very busy I was uh, mm -hmm. I was doing something else that time 
Yeah, yeah but they, it's uh, but they have taken they've taken a better actor. K K Menon is is an actor I really oh, love. I love f- I love watching him. Yeah, he's a phenomenal. I, you just seem to fit that world really really well. Yeah. And so I was yeah. yeah. I would love to see you in it. Do you, I know you've said before that you um you used to be very Daniel Day Lewis in terms of your acting in terms of getting into character, but you've kind of delved out of fully doing that like being the character in day in and day out. Um, so where do you fall now on being like method? What what is your? What? Well, I'm mostly I mean most of the films that I do I prepare with a lot of intensity. Uh, uh, the there are roles which are very demanding. Uh, mm-hmm. They don't they don't let you sleep. They don't you know they 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 require a lot of attention from you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but now you know with 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 age and experience uh, you learn uh, to. To you know, approach them with a little bit of distance, okay. Yeah. But you know, in your earlier days, you really don't know any other way. You yeah. just kind of right. you take a plunge into it completely without knowing how you're going to you know swim out. So yes, it was uh, those were the days when I I risked my uh, sleep, I risked my mental peace. But now uh, things are things are I know. I mean, you learn your craft. As you age, your craft keeps keeps on getting better and better uh, with experience. So now, yeah, I mean the craft is far far um, better, far far bigger. Mm. So uh, you know, it's it it becomes easy to come out of it. But still, I maintain that you know the, the roles that you approach with so much more intensity mm-hmm. are consciously you are out of it. But there are uh, you know uh, subconsciously there are few of the bruises you always get as an actor. That you can't avoid, you know. Yeah. The, mm-hmm. And the, and that is why I feel actors uh, actors are moody, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, they they you know. Yeah. I, it's not because of it's not because of anything else. It's because of the work that they do. It's uh, it's so insane if you look at it. I mean, madness to play somebody is is nothing in the insanity. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. It's very true. <laughs> and I think I, I think I know the answer to this question. If you were giving advice, I don't want to assume, but if you're giving advice to young actors who are, who are wanting to have a career in acting, notice I didn't say TV, film, or theater. Just they want to be an actor. Uh, would you? I'm assuming you would recommend first and foremost that they should get training. First and foremost, they should do theater. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. uh, no training school will be. You know, good enough. Yeah. If you yeah. don't do it, you know, yes. doing it, doing it is so important because acting. You know, no matter how many books you read, it it's always a talk at the yeah. end of the day. You know, right. If, right. You you only see it when or feel it or experience it when you start doing it. I mean, no matter how much uh, backstory I kind of put it down on a paper. Uh, no matter how how many underlines I do in my scripts or makes make notes on the pages, but when it comes to doing it, that is the time you start you know uh, realizing uh, as to how much it's working and how much it's not working. So I really I you know religiously I advise all the newcomers whoever comes to me you know. For any suggestions or advice, I always say, please do theatre for two, three years. Don't don't join any acting class. You know, is uh, go for theatre. Go do theatre. Do theatre. Watch plays, uh, read plays. You know, these are the things which are which are far more. Uh, uh, and, you know, it, they they prepare you for future. Uh-huh. Yeah. The the one play can actually takes care of everything if you if you do one play in your lifetime. Yeah. Yeah, with the right with the right director. Oh, with the right yeah. directors. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so we we first saw you, I believe it was in Gangs of Wasapur, um, and obviously you were fantastic. But I think the next thing we saw you in was El Gira. Is that how you pronounce that? I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Aligarh. Aligarh. Yes, thank you. Aligarh. I'm terrible Aligarh. at pronouncing yeah. names. Um, yeah. well, you were fantastic, and uh, you you brought such a. Uh, a different performance, obviously, from gangs. Obviously, that was so. That was a complete different turn. But some of our favorite parts of that entire film were when you were sitting in the chair, and you were kind of—I believe yeah. it was—listening to music. Was that 
100% improvised by you. The director just said, hey, do what you want to do during during this time, and he just shot for a while. Is that what happened? Yeah. yeah that That's exactly what has happened. You know? yes. So th there is a, there's a funny story behind it. So it was a night time, and I was, uh, I was feeling very tired. So I was, you know, kind of pushing my director to, you know, finish my work fast, finish <laughs> my work fast. Okay. And he's a, he's a friend of mine since since my struggle days, uh, uh, and he kept on telling me, no, 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 no. There is there is the you know if you read the script, Manoj, there there are only two lines that you know uh, your character is sitting listening to the music and drinking. You know that's one shot. I'll just put the camera, you perform it, and you go go to your hotel. You will be done. And you know. And then I, start, I was thinking to myself that, you know, is he going to make it that short? Uh, okay, let's see how it goes. And then I sat on the chair. I prepared myself. I sat on the chair. They put the camera wherever they wanted to put. And then I started performing and he didn't cut. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I went on. I went on with my performance. And then he, he observed many movements in my body and my performance, many nuances. Then he started taking cuts of those, okay? And, you know, I got free only at 2 o'clock in the night. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when you're doing this, you're really... <laughs> that's really... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, but, you know, when, when you are actually doing it, that time you are not thinking about your hotel room. Right. That time you are not yeah, yeah, thinking yeah. about anything else. That time you were just kind of focusing on all the aspects of uh, of the performance and you want to do it right but mm -hmm. by the time i was free you know it was it was too late uh, so we uh, the director was very happy after that we went back to the hotel we had a small party there just because you know he was very happy with with the with the with, with that scene because even we do, i mean none of us realized that this is going to be uh, such a such a long scene. In, mm -hmm. uh, even the writer, writer, editor Apurva Asrani, uh, when he saw it on the edit, uh, and he was he was telling me that you know I didn't know which one to cut and which one to keep. Uh, for me, the decision mm -hmm. was, uh, was quite te quite tedious at the same time, uh, difficult. So yeah, uh, some things, some magic happens on the set, uh, mm -hmm. and and I think as an actor we should be open about it. But you can only improvise if you if the if the preparation you is really you know in place. You can't mm -hmm. you can't you can't improvise. You uh, and be with the script and be with the director's vision if you if you if you are half baked. If yeah. you if you you are not prepared enough. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great thing that you just said. In order to improvise, yep. you really need to be prepared and know what you're doing beforehand. You can't wing beforehand. it. I'm Im yeah, improvisation comes from the preparation. From the preparation. It comes yep. from the preparation. I mean, there are, there are times I, uh, even in Satya, uh, <coughs> Anurag uh, and me have a, a great uh, understanding since those days, you know. Uh, there, there, Anurag has a, has a, as a writer, what he does that there are few scenes he writes and few scenes, a few scenes, few dialogues he doesn't write. He leaves it to actors to improvise. Mm, yep. But if you are not, if you are not, uh, if you don't know your character, if you don't know the scene, if you don't know where the character is coming from and where he is going, then you are going to be at all over the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, so it's better to be prepared uh, so that you can improvise very well. You know exactly, and, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is, it always reminds me, we mention this all the time, of Dustin Hoffman as Ratso Rizzo in Midnight Cowboy when he's crossing the street. When he says, I'm walking here, that came out of his creation and all the work right. he did for, for Ratso right. Rizzo. And I'm, I would love to know, obviously, the training and love you after the craft. Who are some of the artists, either actors or directors, but especially actors that inspired you as a little boy and as you grew? And even today, who are the actors that you just love to watch? Oh, when I was uh, when I was growing up, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan was quite a quite an impact. Who's that? You know, on our, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, he was in. I I was growing up in a small city and. Uh, and Mr. Amitabh Bachchan was like a god for us. Uh, mm -hmm. 
and then when i was doing theater uh, mr nasruddin shah and mr om puri these were the guys who were making uh, Legends, you know different yeah. diff- they, they were giving a new meaning to you know to craft of acting mm-hmm. uh, and and they they came from they came from theater so you know I mean, there were various actors various performances which were kind of uh, uh, and then in I, when i was in delhi i started watching uh, american films and british films or say polish films uh, but those days in the film finding those films were very difficult now they sure. are available you know everywhere but those days for for one film we had to make so much of an effort mm. to to say to watch one taxi driver to watch um, say scarface or any polish film uh, or any check to swak in film mm-hmm. we we yeah. used to make lot of lot of uh, lot of effort to really go and watch it and those were the actors who were uh, were leaving such immense impact on your mind about the craft of acting mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and then we were only getting educated uh, and we were by the the definition of acting the craft was changing with each performance with each film with each play that we've seen uh, of these great actors said de niro or brando or pacino dustin hoffman all of these actors they left such a huge huge impact mm-hmm. absolutely And um once again forgive me for butchering the name but Son Shira right So Son Chiriya yeah, yeah thank Son you Chiriya. once again I'm terrible at pronouncing things It's a golden uh, bird and golden bird it means yes. golden bird uh, yeah. we love that film we were actually really sad with once again spoiler uh when you die really early uh cuz we we thought <laughs> the whole really we thought the whole, <laughs> we thought the whole film was you uh and then they kind of just get and then you came back uh, with flashbacks and stuff and so we were happy about that but why do you think cuz what after we watched it we were shocked to find out that it wasn't a commercial success in terms of the box office not a lot of people went and saw, right. saw it what why do you think that is in terms of like why isn't beautiful films like that recognized as much as uh, other films uh um, thank you very much for mentioning sonchi i really feel that this was one of the most important and one of the one of the best film of of my filmography beautiful film. uh it it shot it shot in uh, 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 the director has shot it uh, abhishek is shot it in such a western way mm-hmm. um but it's still you know um um uh, he's is is showing the decoits he's showing all these guys who are Uh, looting and robbing and killing but there is a they are looking for redemption they are you know when the film starts all of them are struggling in their life looking for redemption they are seeking bigger truth in life you know so for me i really feel how could how could a director writer think of uh, such a spiritual you know uh, is story and mm-hmm. that to in a valley valley like that is a dangerous valley is about the bad people the bandits and they are looking for red- red- redemption and he shot it in a way you know western you know way so when i saw the film i didn't know that you know how this is how i'm going to look he when he he approached me i said you know uh, you know abhishek it's a, it's a very small role what do you want me to do with this so he said no i really want you i i want you because uh, uh when he dies uh, i want that uh, the effect of his death to be lingering yeah. you know yes uh, yes throughout the film so and then you know i'm a big big fan of this director uh he's a very he's a young young uh, mind blowing talent uh, and i keep telling him telling him that you know i would really love to be part of each and every film that you make each and everything that you do So yes uh, uh we are talking uh for future collaboration too yeah. but uh, for, but uh, but the experience of working in that film uh is is very precious for me very very precious the every day the the look that we worked on the the the, the walk in the beginning that you see the man who is reluctant from the beginning he is reluctant to continue as a bandit okay he's he is somehow looking for some kind of a redemption and redemption is uh, he's he only finds redemption in in being killed okay mm-hmm. 
so that's how you know that's how it all happens so for me it's a it was a very new uh, mm -hmm. interpretation and uh, and that could only come from a director like uh, abhishek yeah and what was it like working with uh, the late great sushant uh, we, we we got to talk to uh, swashitka who worked with him on del bachara and um, uh, detective bomkeshi i believe it is um, so i was just bomkeshi yeah, what, yeah. What, what was it like yeah. working with with him a very, uh, very intelligent mind. Mm -hmm. Very, very intelligent mind. Somebody uh, who was very eager mm -hmm. to learn the craft almost every moment. He was not taking any moment for granted on the set. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Discussing either either the craft or the quantum physics. Mm -hmm. This is what I remember of of that young boy. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we. Uh, uh, will always miss him uh, i had an i had a i had a I had a great time working with him a uh, great association i always remember him with a lot of fondness yeah yeah considering the ott platforms that have opened up not only artistic freedoms that were not available as well as more work right now the other thing it's doing that we're so happy about is it's giving a broader audience to indian cinema and indian television okay. And uh, uh, do you have you wanted to uh, cross the bridge, as it were, and work a lot in American cinema, or are you very content working in Indian cinema? And if it happened, that'd be great. But it really isn't a dream of yours. Uh, how do you feel about the connection? I, okay, so you know, I come from a village, very small village. Coming to Delhi or coming to Mumbai was a impossible dream. Mm. Okay. <laughs> For yeah. that boy, you know, for that for that little boy, to 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 travel, you know, this this distance was uh, something that we could not think of, and I took that I took that journey and I reached here, but uh, and I keep going to LA. Uh, <clears throat> it, it's a long flight, man. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I've done it a few times. It's a long flight. <laughs> yeah, it's a long flight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I mean. Uh, uh, but on a, on a serious note, I must say that if there is something really worthwhile, uh, where I really get an opportunity to or chance to really uh, give my two hundred percent and be excited about uh, you know doing that role, definitely I'll do it. But I'm very sorry, I can't be doing something just in the hope that I'll be getting work there. Yeah. You know. Oh no, you know, I can't. No. 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 No, but for what it's worth, you you are at a level, and we one of the things we are pride ourselves on, if I can use that word, is that we're not going to give people compliments if we don't believe the compliment. We're not going to just right. say you're good if we don't think you're good. Right. And and you really do the 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 depth of your capacity is so strong, and and at the upper echelons of the craft that we would Thank love you. to watch you share the screen. With the heavyweights you named, you can easily, without question, share the screen and be as magnetized and as enjoyable and as inspiring as the names you listed. To see you opposite Pacino or De Niro or some of the newer actors who are of the younger ilks, like a Joaquin Phoenix or a Christian Bale. Yeah. And uh, but I, I, we know based on what we know of you, you clearly yeah. would would only do something if it's going to stir the artist in you. It's never going to be for career choices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I was watching uh, just before we started chatting and I try, we were try, trying to get in touch uh, right now to start the video chat. I just finished one film that I missed out on, uh, Ford versus Ferrari. And oh, it was yeah. it, it was something, it was on my list. Uh, <clears throat> I was watching it and I, I realized, uh, you learn so much just by looking at Christian Bale uh, and his relationship with the with the with the with the with the track, with his relationship with the with the car, mm -hmm. and the relationship he shares with uh, uh, Matt Damon, uh, his child, his wife. It's and you see the actor's approach. You know, he's not he's not missing one moment. Yeah. yeah, he's not missing one moment here and there. I mean, I I I really get inspired by by actors who work very hard. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the other day, um, dirty I mean, dirty John is something that I 
chanced upon watching there is a there is a series on netflix i don't know whether you've seen it or not <laughs> no there is, a, there is a series called dirty john you must watch it and mm. there are two seasons so both the seasons are based on true stories and the second season amanda peet when i was watching her i was getting goosebumps i was getting not only as feeling happy but at the same time as, at the same time i was getting scared as to how much an actor gifts mhm is scary is you know, at times you feel uh, when you are i was watching taxi driver i felt the same thing i got scared yes. oh my god i'll i'll have to work this hard <laughs> <laughs> i felt that way after watching <laughs> gangs of new york and watching uh, daniel day lewis as bill the yeah. butcher he scared me yeah. it was the same yeah. exact thing yes <laughs> yeah really <laughs> scared yeah and, but but at, at the same time you feel motivated to yeah. you know yes. and ready to to you know for 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 the next job you know yes. you you really getting yourself ready that okay okay give me that kind of a role i'm ready to put in that much of a, of an effort yeah yeah uh and on the family man uh which once again fantastic fantastic series Thank you. uh very much looking forward to season 2 and we know it's in the editing phase right now and so we don't technically know when it's coming out yet but what can we expect from season 2 of family man uh, uh, uh earlier i should say that is uh, you know after shooting uh after we completed the sh- uh, the shooting part uh, i used to say that is going to be bigger and better but now i watched it uh because mm-hmm. uh, we were doing some uh, you know patchwork in dubbing uh, though it's a sync sound mm-hmm. uh and i watched the whole thing uh and also uh, the directors uh, they have chosen few of the test audience so one of the test audience is known to me mm. and uh, i kind of happened to see the see all the episodes i can say that it's a is going to be a different experience for people it's a it's a it's a it's a season where um, uh, you know we de- definitely uh, the life of the protagonist is not the same because where you left him yeah. in the last mm-hmm. season the we are going to actually pick him pick him up from there okay mm. so his life is not going to be the same in the mm-hmm. in the and and uh, his relationship with his colleagues his family it's not something that you've seen already okay yeah. so the tone tone of it is is very very different okay mm. uh, the humor is definitely the humor is there but intensity intensity wise it's is high voltage completely mm. yeah mm. it's uh, is going to be is going to be quite an experience for for everyone uh, looking forward to because that. i when i when i was performing it this time uh in season season 2 i felt exhausted i never felt exhausted in my in, in the first season mm-hmm. you know rather you know we were always uh, working out and laughing and you know improvising making the scene but we were making a scene here too but with lot of angst with lot of intensity with lot of mm-hmm. you know lot many arguments were happening because the atmosphere has changed uh, mm. the protagonist uh, surrounding has changed you know it's a it's going to be quite a quite a different kind of an experience for 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 the audience this time yeah awesome that's exciting <laughs> <laughs> well do you want to do you want to head into yeah. rapid fire yeah right now yeah? so we'll we'll end this off okay. with a, just a little bit of a rapid fire not nothing uh serious um, yeah but uh coffee or chai chai any time i mean give i i i die when i have to go to us i, I die there's no chai anywhere <laughs> you know I, i know and they sell it they sell it and they say it's chai after you had chai in india it yeah. I, i make better chai in, because we are uh, when uh, when i go to uh, any city or la uh, we always uh, kind of uh, rent a place and uh, so i always carry my you know dip tea all the time <laughs> <laughs> that's great uh fa- favorite alcoholic beverage or oh, wine actually mm-hmm. white wine is something i love white wine or champagne mm. or prosecco mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah uh, favorite hollywood film ah oh, 
there are so many you know doing yeah. injustice to if you if you, but yes i mean i will i'll take the name uh, of say lawrence of arabia because it's something Mm-hmm. Uh, that has uh, completely blew blew me, you know, when I watched it first. A Taxi Driver, all of these films I have seen only much later after Lawrence of Arabia. Did you get the, Did you get to see Lawrence of Arabia in a theater on a screen? In a in a theater on a screen. Okay, great. You know, yeah, days, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was completely blown, yeah. <laughs> blown away by the by the direction, by the performances. Yeah, Peter Rutu is one performer. You know, I have learned speech from him, you know, just by watching him mm. again and again and again and again. Yeah. Uh, favorite Indian film? Any any region? Uh, mm, favorite Indian film? Uh, I would say uh, one film that has uh, completely changed my my actor is uh, there is a film called Akrosh. Okay. Oh, Mr. Om Puri was there. Okay. In the entire film, uh, he doesn't it. speak. Yeah. He, in the entire film, he doesn't speak. You know, there's this guy who's a tribal guy and he's charged with the murder of his own sister. Okay. Oh. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, it's a great film. It's one of the greatest film that uh, this um, Indian film industry has ever made. And Om Puri was, oh, something else in that film mm. yeah. uh what is your wife's favorite film of yours my wife's favorite film of yours I think, that's a good uh, question that's yeah, a good question uh, uh okay uh, she's seen um uh, aligarh aligarh is something that she loved aligarh i yeah. mean she's 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 loved in many films and she hated me in few films definitely <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, and she's and and uh, and she's quite you know, brutal when it, when she doesn't like something, she's she's brutal. Uh, That's wonderful. I, I, I always tell my tell my critic friends that you guys can't be as brutal as my wife. So I, mean, I, don't, I don't care about reading you guys. I have to ask her. <laughs> uh, but you know, Ali Ali is something that she loved. Satya Satya is she's in any day she is in love with. There is one film that I have done. Uh, right after two films I've done. Right after Satya is one is Khan. Yeah. Where there are only three ca- three characters uh, yeah. by the uh, same director Ram Gopal Rama and Shul, uh, which is yep. written by again uh, Anurag Kashyap. She loved me in Shul and Pinjar uh, is one film on partition. Yeah, she usually like these these performances of mine in these films. I won't ask what her least favorite performance of yours is, uh, <laughs> although I, I am interested. <laughs> I know, I, I know, you. but I'm interested. Um, <laughs> uh, favorite uh, favorite Indian actor or actress? Uh, I mean, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan is some. I mean, some everyone's favorite because you know I was completely enamored by him when I was growing up mm-hmm. and the manner he conducts himself in every possible way you know I, I just love him but uh, Om Puri who uh, mm-hmm. we lost uh, yeah. uh, and Mr. Nasuddin Shah uh, there is one you know veteran actor that I, I have uh, I had a privilege of working with him in, in theater and he also works in films sometimes his name is Rag- Raghuveer Yadav. Uh, he has kind of, uh, he impacted me quite a lot when I was doing theatre. Okay. So, uh, I would definitely say that, you know, uh, uh, when I became a professional actor, uh, and doing my theatre days, this is one actor who I wanted to be like. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's somebody. If I Im- improvise, if I if I do those kind of performances, it's it's everything that I have learned from him, uh, from this actor. Mm. And the 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 the, tra- the tradition of natural acting is uh, in our time started by him. Yeah. And mm. we always we actually somehow uh, um, you know forget to give give him the credit because yeah. he's. He because he never uh, came that much into lime limelight. But whenever he is performing, whenever I see his uh, any performance in any film or show, I may make it sure that I watch it because he he has that ability to be so natural, and it's still so impactful. Okay, so uh, yeah. 
And uh, last question, it's something I've asked every single person we've interviewed. I'd just like to get your opinion on it. Um, one of the biggest things we've noticed in Indian cinema is how bad white actors are um, most of the white, time. How bad? White actors. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I want to get your opinion on why that is. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't see, I mean, see uh, for me, uh, a bad actor is a bad actor, a good actor is a good actor. Mm -hmm. He can be white, brown, anybody, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're all terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he can, I mean, the, it's, uh, it's, it's never about uh, the color or the region. Um, that there are there are bad performances. There are a few of my own performances that I don't see. I say, okay, please switch it off. I don't want to see it, you know. Uh, but uh, if I, I go by, uh, I will. You know, yesterday I was sitting with uh, the director of Sonchiria, and I was mm -hmm. telling him that I feel motivated mm -hmm. as an actor when I see a good performance and a good film. Yes. I feel depressed. And demotivated when I see a bad film and a bad performance. hundred percent, yes, sir. Agree. Yes, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it makes it makes you sad. <laughs> yeah, it makes you sad. It makes you yes. sad. Uh, Sometimes uh, uh, I still remember a uh, few of my experiences of watching bad films and bad performance. That I started thinking whether you know I should really continue as an actor or not. I mean, if mm. this is what I'm going to do in future, then it's better that I give up. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> they make you make you feel so bad, uh, yeah, and demotivated. Yeah. Well, I want to thank yeah. you so much for talking with us, man. We really appreciate it. It's it's obvious one just from your performances, but clearly talking to you, how much you love the craft and and how how seriously you take it because of your love for it and and it's it's clear that's why you're such a brilliant actor and i want to thank you for thank you for for your for the work that you do because it's such a blessing just to watch you um and so and also if you are ever come back to la after the united states gets COVID under uh control uh we would yes. love to we love to meet you and talk shakespeare with you that'd be fantastic rick Oh, definitely. Next year, I mean, next year, God yes. willing, uh, next yeah. year, by the end of next year, definitely. We, yes. are, we are actually, we were planning to be, uh, be in the U.S. this year itself uh, for, my, for my daughter's vacation. Um, but, you know, pandemic. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's unfortunate. Exactly. But, yeah, anything. we, we, uh, Corbin and I have known each other a long time. And we, uh, the core of us is, is acting and the love of this art form. And can I just say a couple of things? Number one, thank you so much for the choices that you've made through your career. Mm -hmm. Because the most important thing about what you've done is not the resume you have, but the legacy you've left that's been an example and you continue to be an example. For actors to make choices based on the craft and the art form, not on success and commercial and money. And it, it, is, it is a wonderful thing that i'm so proud of you for doing and you are for for us your work speaks for itself but who you are and the choices that you make you're the kind of person this industry needs more of we need more of you who love this craft and want to make great films because they have a passion for the art form so thank you for being who you are thank you thank you very much thanks Th thank, thank you, you so you. much thanks i hope you have a thank i you. hope you have a fantastic night <laughs> yes. Thank you. You too. Thank you. you have Thank a you. great day. Yeah. God bless you. Have bye. a good one. Okay. Thank you, man. All right. Bye.